Hello and welcome to 10 Minute Joomla Tips. 10 Minute Joomla Tips is brought to you by ContiCreative.com. ContiCreative.com is a Joomla development agency. We offer training, web development, and Joomla consulting. Today I'm going to show you a trick you can use if you lose your Joomla administrative password. There are actually a couple of tricks. Let me show you the setup first. I have a website here called Joomla SEO and I have another website here called Joomla K2. Now I have a password for this site and if I go to the administration the password is actually password1 and I log in I can get into the site no problem. If I go to the administration for Joomla K2 and I put password1 and click on login username and password do not match. What to do now? Well there is one quick trick which is to go to your front end find the login module and click on forgot your password put your email there and Joomla will be nice enough to send you an email with instruction on how to reset the password however that doesn't work every time for instance in this case I'm working on a local host with MAMP and the site is not set up to send emails so if I wanted to get back in I couldn't it can also happen that you forget to put a, you don't put the right email in you forgot which email you used maybe you used a fake email so first of all if you want to use this method but you don't have the login module ready let's go there again you can see that the URL is actually index PHP question mark option e equal com underscore user ampersand view equal reset so if you use this URL even if you do not have the login module activated on your site you can get to this page and get your password back if it's a username that you don't remember even though the default for Joomla is admin but you'd be well advised to change it at some point and let's say that you forgot it uh, is the same URL we remind at the end so we have remind here and uh, what if you don't have the email set up and you cannot send yourself an email with a reminder at that point we had to go to PHP my admin here you can see that I have a database, one for Joomla K2 and one for Joomla SEO. So remember, Joomla SEO is the one where I do add the password and Joomla K2 is the one where I don't add the password. So let's get to Joomla SEO and scroll down to JOS users. You click on JOS users and click on the Browse tab. Now you can see that here is the administrative account and this is the password for the administrative account. That mumbo jumbo there means password one. It's encrypted in a MD5 hash, so called. Now there are places on the web where you can go and generate an MD5 hash for any uh, string of text. I've done that before and it does work, even though since I've done it, Joomla has changed the way it generates the MD5 hash and now that it creates this string after a column so don't take my word for it I haven't tested in a long time but up to a certain point there was a way to generate your own ND5 hash however since we had two websites and one we do know the password click on the pencil and you simply had to come here select the entire string and copy it now we do the same thing only we go to Joomla K2 in Joomla K2, I click on Just Users, again I click on Browse, again I click on the Pencil, and I select All. In fact, to be sure, you probably should do a Select All, which won't let me. The mouse keeps on wanting to, so I'll delete the whole thing, and click on Paste. Now you scroll down and press on go. Let's go back here and enter password 1. Drum roll. We are in. So as you can see it's actually quite easy to restore a password through the phpMyAdmin interface. Other thing that phpMyAdmin is very useful for, let me show you a trick here. Let's go back to Joomla SEO and let's go to just content click on browse again and here is the Joomla content 
we have ID, title, alias, title, alias, intro text, full text, etc, etc, etc. Now, one neat thing that you can do, sorry for the scrolling of the mouse there, one neat thing that you can do with uh, PHP My Admin is to select more than one entry in a given table. Like in this case, I select four articles from the database. Then I scroll down and click on the pencil to open them all up once. And here we are, we have title, title alias, we have the HTML, and then we have another article, and then yet another. This would allow you to do bulk editing of uh, the Joomla articles, and you would avoid having to go to each article, open it, save it. You can change all the articles at once, and then click on save. Incidentally, this is really, really handy when working with Virtumart in the store. I found that Virtumart especially has a somewhat lengthy interface that you had to open, save, then click on display all, then go find the, again the product with the search. This way you can just choose the products that you want to edit, open them all at once, make your changes and save. However, be very careful because you're working directly on the database and that can be dangerous. In fact, the first thing that you should do if you want to play with the database this way is go to export, select all the tables there, click on add drop table, do not add if not exist otherwise it's not going to restore, click on save as file, click either zipped or jitzipped and press on go. That will take the database and let you export it, which I'm not going to do right now because I don't need to. Then after you've done an export to the database, go in and do all the changes that you need to do. You can always restore by going to import, browse for your file, which again I don't want to do right now, and load the backup database. Well, that's about it for today. I hope you enjoyed this edition of Temino Joomla Tips and you found it useful. If you have any questions about Joomla or web development or e-commerce, please do email me at joomlaquestions at contentcreated.com. I always love to receive your uh, emails, your questions. If I cannot do an entire podcast on your questions, I will try to respond in the email. Again, have a great week. And we'll see you next time.